I feel like a lot of people have been sleeping on Andor on Disney Plus, so I'm gonna give you the top three reasons why any Star Wars fan should check it out. Number one, much needed nuance to the Empire versus Rebellion conflict. The Rebel Alliance here is making sacrifices on the individual level. We're seeing what the everyday person goes through and the uh, oppression and the weight of the Empire above them because the Empire here is a real threat. We've seen them be a threat and we've seen their presence and and the Rebel Alliance formation and things like Rebels and the Bad Bats. Here, it's done in a much more, much more grounded way. There are echoes of, of real life in this show in a way that we haven't really seen in Star Wars in such an overt manner. Number two ties directly into that, and that is seeing these characters develop and the way they're written. We're seeing the founders of the Rebel Alliance. We're seeing Andor, who in Rogue One was a loyal soldier to the Rebellion, but here he's someone who doesn't want to be a rebel, and we're seeing his spark, his individual spark start to ignite. We're seeing the Empire and even people who sort of work in and under and a part of the Empire but aren't up there yet. We're potentially seeing major villain origin stories for the first time in Star Wars aside from from Vader. And they're all they're all portrayed brilliantly by their actors and actresses. Number three for me is the score. Star Wars is known for its brilliant scores, thanks to mainly John Williams as well as like Ludwig Gorson in Mandalorian. But what Nicholas Bratel brings to Andor is a sort of fresh and kinetic tension that I don't think we've we've had really in this way. The same way he brings that energy to Succession, for example, he brings it to Andor and it just, it sets the tone for every episode. And uh, those, are, those are my top three reasons.